Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Uh, welcome back my dear students, a uh, very good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all of you wherever you are in this part of the globe and at whatever time you are uh, hearing this set of lectures. This you know this is the SWAM lecture series and the title investment analysis and portfolio management and my good name is Raghunandan Sangupta from the IME department at IIT Kanpur in India. So, if you remember uh, today will be the 24th lecture, if you remember in the 23rd lecture the main discussion was basically to how to combine options both call, uh, put and the call considering that either you, are, you anticipate a bearish market uh, or you anticipate a bullish market uh, in the sense that the prices in, at, in, in one case it will be increasing on the, on the other end the prices would be decreasing. And we considered initially only two options, uh, I am not going to the details of the call or the put, two options and with the prices being K1 and K2 and we drew the, uh, the graph and before that we formulated the table or the payoff matrix or the payoff table and based on that we, we had later on and considered which was not a uh, part of the discussion, but I thought I will I'll discuss with you and, and make you aware of that, that if you have more than uh, two uh, options in whatever case, whether the put or the call, how would the payoff matrix or the payoff table and the graph look like. And uh, with the emphasis was that as prices increases which you anticipate or as the price decreases which you anticipate how you can reduce your overall um, loss and or the risk. I will be using the word loss and risk interchangeably in order to highlight that you want to basically minimize your overall um, loss in the payoff matrix, considering that you want to go both for the asset and the underlying uh, option for the asset. And all these assets which we considered were all financial assets, obviously it can be other type of asset also, but the general emphasis of the problem would be or the analysis of the problem would be the same. Today uh, which I mentioned is the 24th lecture and would be more of the combination of options which is the butterfly and other combinations. I will go in the same sequence like try to combine uh, different type of options single one and then basically multiply the options uh, considering there are two or three either the long or the short or the put or the call and then uh, see that how the graph looks like and which portion is the, uh, the loss and which portion is the profit. So, your main emphasis is obviously to reduce the loss. So, butterfly spreads are and if you can imagine a butterfly is basically the wings as it is flapping. So, there are two min, uh, values of K1 and K2 and obviously we will always consider K1 to be less than K2 and the prices would be fluctuating in, in a certain range, not exceeding uh, K1 or, or not going down below K2 because that was basically the, the 23rd lectures main emphasis where you had a, a bullish market or the bearish market. So, here the investor which is you is hoping that the large stock prices movements are unlikely. So, there would be a range between which the price fluctuation would be there. And today I will try to cover that if there are three options with prices K1, K2 and K3. So, those will be just hypothetical examples, but that will give you an idea that how the price fluctuations can be taken care of considering three, three or more different options. So, this is the first case where you have the butterfly spread and here for the first time I am considering there are three prices. So, I will use the same uh, coloring scheme, but the last one which was the combined one which was I was <coughs> doing with blue that remains 
one would be red, one would be green and another I will try to use as the orange. So, they would be red, blue, orange and the blue. So, I will use the highlighter, so it, it becomes much easier for uh, me to um, analyze the problem. Remember one another thing, we will follow the sequence of red for K1. So, let me write it down, so we remember it. So, the color for K1, okay, as we are using the colors, let us be. So, for K1, I will write it on the left hand side, K1, you, we will be using the red color. For K2, we will be using the green color as it notifies. The third one which is coming for the first time, we are using the orange one, K3. And always remember K1 is less than K2, K2 is less than K3 and the combined one would be use the blue, combined. So, in this way we will basically maintain a parity of the discussion, so there is no confusion. So, first for the K1, so it is the red one, so we will consider the K1. So, here is the option initially you have bought this option, so you paid a price and as the price, the strike price is K1 and as, as ST increases, you start making profit positive one. So, this is the portion which is negative, this is the portion which is positive. So, now and here, I uh, will come to the, uh, the matrix later on, but I will just notify it in the diagram also, provided obviously I do not make it too cluttered. For the next one, K2, we have the you sold, so you got a price initially and we will use P as the price with the corresponding suffix depending on whether it is. Uh, put out a call long or a short. So, this was negative, this was positive and finally, the orange one which will denote for the A3 one, again use bought. So, you have the obligation and option under your uh, wish whether you want to excise or not. This portion is positive and this small portion is basically negative, this one. So, if that space is small, so I will basically write the negative one. So, this is negative. Now, when you combine it and, and the difference between the distance between K1, K2 with K3 are just hypothetical, it can be anything. So, obvi but obviously maintaining the fact that K1 is less than K2 is less than K3. So, the combined one which is blue in color would look like this. So, you are you are thinking the prices will be fluctuating between K1 and K3. So, this is negative this is also negative this small portion like a triangular part it looks like the butterfly wings that is why it is known as butterfly spread. So, this is positive. So, if I am considering the prices which will become more apparent when we do the uh, payoff matrix of the table. So, you have ST, 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 ST. 
why I have written 4 times it will become clear. So, in this case it is less than k 1. In this case S t is like this this is k 1 and this is k 2. I am using the coloring scheme just notice it and in the next case you have s t and then again s t. So, this would be less than less than you have k 2, you have k 3 and finally, you have is less greater than k 3. So, what it happens? So, we will mark them as positive or negative. So, there are three options, we will mark them accordingly. For the red one, when it is less than k, k 1, so it is negative. When it is uh, greater than k 1, and uh, less than k 2 here also as per the norm it is negative. For prices it is greater than k 2 it is positive the last part is also positive. So, this is the option corresponding to the, uh, the one which is marked in red and I will mention them within few minutes. For the next part, the coloring scheme is green. So, for less than k 1 positive, then again less than k 2 positive, between k 2 and k 3 it, it can be anything. So, I am not marking. So, it, it can be anything and for greater than k 3 it is negative. Finally, for the last one where the strike price is k 3 negative 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 and the final part is positive. So, when you combine them you have the combined option which is the blue in color. So, this is what, what we will be doing and solving this uh, problem with using a hypothetical case. So, this is the actual one. So, butterfly spreads you are considering a long call, a short call and a long call with a different price. So, in this case the strike price uh, I am talking about is k 1, k 2 and k 3. So, what, what you will be considering finally, let me mark it here and then we can erase it later on. So, the main thing is basically the, the blue one is given here. So, I have written each terms separately and in details and the part depending on what you consider as the one which you have considered long call with a strike price of k 1. So, this column the first column. So, 0th column is the S t which is strike price. Second one is a short call. So, this is basically the 
the profit. So, these portions this one, this one, this one and this one. Similarly, for the long call for the price being k 1. So, these were the values. And finally, when we come to the long call with the price of k 3. So, these are the profits. So, let us switch on to the, the excel sheet and market accordingly and we will take a very simple case multiples of 5 in order to make our understanding very simple and the diagrams crystal clear and we will refer to the diagram which is there in the last slide which is the fifth one. So, now we will draw st here and uh, we will mark k and p. So, you had if you remember the, the problem there was long call, short call, long call. So, we will long call, short call and long call. The second long call has a higher strike price. So, we will consider it is as 100, as 120 and see for example, 150. And the price is considered it will be 20, it is say for example, 50, namely let us make it 40 and consider this is say for example, uh, 60. So, this is the long call, this is the short call, this is the long call and for simplicity let us mark it as long call 1. So, uh, we can know that with the strike price of k 1, uh, short call with the strike price of k 2, long call with the strike price of k 3. So, this comes let me uh, zoom it better. So, for our understanding yes. So, this is short call with strike price of k 2, long call with strike price of k 3. So, the prices would be in quantums of 10, So, let us make it till 200. So, here are the prices. So, let us go another thing which we which we should be aware. So, for the we have not put the negative value for the prices. So, for the long you are ok, for the long you are buying. So, as it, it gives you for a long one you are buying then short you are selling and long again you are buying. So, this would be minus this would also be a minus. So, that will come automatically when we do the calculations for the long call. So, let us go to. So, it is basically for the price of less than k 1 it is minus 20. So, we will basically put fix these values ok and another thing which which we do each and every time let us mark this k 1 and k 2. I am using the same same color yellow. If you want you can use different colors to mark it and 150. So, as we get more and more options we can do that. So, this value remains fixed. So, 20. Now, come to prices greater than k 1. So, obviously, prices greater, greater than k 1 will be using s t minus k 1 minus the price is equal to s t minus k 1 and minus the price because it is already minus. So, we will just add it up. So, here we will put dollar for uh, the k 1 value and for the price. So, we will mark it. So, in for because as there are three options let me make it a little bit more explicit. So, this is the long call for k 
k 1 price for long call this is for short call for k 2 and this is the long call for k 3. Okay. Now, we are we have made it uh, frozen the corresponding cells and we mark the prices. So, this first column B is basically payoff for the long call with the strike price of K 1. So, let us come to now uh, the short call with strike price of K 2. So, the, the profits would be accordingly. So, initially it will be plus till K 2. So, this is plus because it is 40 it becomes plus. Let us freeze this value the cell. So, this is 40 remains 40. Now, for values greater than K 2 it becomes K 2 which is 120 minus S T and plus this 40. So, as the formula is, so the here. So, let me, so this is the value which we are considering and use the color green. So, this is the formula we are using now. So, K 2 minus S T minus plus the price. Here the prices are given in C, I have used the symbol P there. So, K 2 minus S T plus C S. So, K 2 minus S T plus value. So, let us uh, make it the cells value fixed. So, these are the prices. So, it decreases and as you can see it in the graph, uh, the second one which basically, so this decreases. So, this is basically marked with uh, green. So, this one, so this is positive and then it starts decreasing this we are marking. So, it decreases. So, you may be thinking why it becomes 0 at 160 because the price is 120 and 40 is the extra profit which I make when I sold it. So, hence it, it shows those values. Okay. For the last one, so it, it should be exactly mimicking the first one. So, this is value fix goes till 150 and then the price is ST minus 150 plus the price already paid which is 60. So, the cells B 4 is fixed, C 4 is fixed. So, this is the value and let us see the third column which is D in the, in the graph. So, if you see the third column which is in the graph here we marked is a orange -ish color. So, this is the one. And obviously, the first one which was column B was this one. So, now let us combine them. So, I will use combined one and so uh, combined one is equal to this plus 
this plus this. The main thing is to see the combined graph with respect to the one which I have drawn. So, let us draw the graph paying attention to the individual one as well as the combined one. And I will use the same coloring scheme for the graphs also to make it evident. So, this is S t it can be deleted. So, now for the long call with k 1 which is so, which is red in color. The next one is short call k 2 price which is green in color. The next one is the long call with strike price k 3 which is orange in color as it should let me double check the color orange. Yes, it is orange great. And finally, this one is blue in color as it should be. Now, only th so these values you the see the, the shape of the curve is, is it should be in the sense that if I have different values. So, let me take values here accordingly. So, the peak value or if I if I move these. So, it is coming now uh, as it should be. No, it should be let me go back to that go there. So, the graph would combine one look look like this. So, let me write on the formulas it will be easier for for one of us to understand. Uh, just give me one minute, I will bring the formula so it is easier for us to So, I will be utilizing this more often. Let me remove the graph for the timing. I will draw it or let me remove in the sense, put it aside. You will see the graph uh, within few minutes. So, for the long call, if you consider this, the long call, I will use the color red for the long call position you have the formula is this. This will come in the third case also for the long call is this. So, max of max of s t minus x. So, this is s t minus k and this is already minus. So, it does not matter here. So, it is 10 as it should be. So, let me freeze B 2 freeze C 2 and then copy this formula accordingly. So, you see the values comes out to be the graph comes out to be exactly the same. So, now come to the long call. So, long call we have marked it in green color. So, I will hmm. 
unit, it was basically uh, short call, which is the third call. Let me double verify. Yes, short call. So, this is the short call. So, minima, minimum of x minus s t x is this minus s t plus 30, which is basically the price comma 30. So, now you have to basically freeze few of the cells. So, B 3 is frozen. C 3 is frozen. So, uh, it is 30 as it should be. We take the values here. So, this is the values which we got. And finally, for the long call with K 3 price, we have used the orange one. So, I will mark it also with orange. So, there is no confusion. This is also utilized. The long call. So, So, this has a strike price of k 1, this has a price of k 2, k 3 sorry and this is a price of k 2. So, this formula is max of of um, S t minus x. So, the S t is here minus x is 150 plus the price paid which is 40 which comes with a sign automatic. So, I need to freeze B 4, C 4. So, these are frozen it is 40 as it should be I copy it. the values are as it is. So, the combined one remains the same. So, you have the graph accordingly. Now, if you want to basically change the values, so, so they would be the graph particular the butterfly spread would come depending on, on values. So, we have, we have to have a peak here. So, we can consider these values. Okay, let best would be the values can be put here. So, this is you have to do a few permutation combination to get this graph. So, I am zooming out in order to see how it would look like. So, as uh, the graph looks like, let me check. So, you would basically have k 1, k 2 and k 3. So, I will take k 1, k 2 and k 3 value seems to be fine. So, I will take it in between. So, if it is 120 and, and this is say for example, 160, 40 is the middle value. So, the combined one, uh, we have to check with 120. So, it, this is fine and this value is 10, 20 uh, and then again 20 make it, make it 40. So, it will look like this. So, depending on the values which we take for k 1 and k 2 and the prices, it can combine. So, let us consider the add one which is uh, 
2 of the first one. So, this is 2 L C of K 1 plus 3 of uh, S C which is short called with K 2 plus uh, 4 of L C with price K 3. So, we will have this graph also drawn in this one. So, this becomes 2 into the first B element plus 3 into element in C plus 4 into element in D. How it look like? So, let it just rather than erasing it, let us put it aside. Combine one. So, see if the combined one is the green one where we will use a different color. So, the, the orange one is basically the first one which should be red, the gray one I am not mentioning it whether short call or long call it would be green. The orange one remains as it is combined one the first one becomes blue and the last one which is green actually if I am putting it as say for example violet the curves comes like this. So, you see depending on the prices and fluctuation it can be a butterfly spread, but it is here in the negative direction it can be uh, changed accordingly by considering the prices and the strike prices accordingly. So, this this graph which is the blue one looks like the butterfly one which we are looking at, but obviously the range can be manipulated in order to bring it exactly to the theoretical diagram which I had drawn in the PPT slide. So, this uh, prices again you can change and, be, and, and draw the graphs accordingly. Okay. So, this is the butterfly spread using the calls only. So, we have short call, long call accordingly. And obviously, you may be thinking that uh, why I have only considered two different calls and only one short call. It can be increased. So, if I add one cell here and I have say for example, a short call with price of 4. So, I add another row becomes short call with K4 price. This can be made 180 and this can be more 60. So, this is the price of the short call with K4. So, I have marked all the corresponding values. So, I go to the short call one short call one is the green one which is denoted. So, I will use another color let it be dark blue yes it will be differentiable here. So, this is the one which I am drawing now short call. I am adding an extra one and here I am considering the price as K4. So, here the scenario is even though you all know it, it would be like this.
So, I will be considering uh, the price strike prices as k 1, k 2, k 3, k 4 and obviously, the prices here which we mentioned this will be with p price means bought or sold plus minus I am not writing it down small p small p small p. So, let us go back to the graph now using the excel. So, you have the minimum. So, this is equal to minimum of x minus k t. So, x is here minus k s t sorry sorry s t and plus this price is 60 which is positive because this is a short one you have sold. So, let us now mark the the value freeze the cells b become b 5 is frozen c 5 is frozen and then I copy it. So, I, I, I need to basically make a insert a column here. So, this will be Aptex. Okay, now it's fine. So combined one is basically. I'm going going a little bit slow, but please bear with me. Long call K one plus uh, short call K two plus long call K three. So this is for uh, combination of one, two, three. That is column B, C, and D. And this one basically comes out to the fact plus short call of K4 also. So, this is equal to first plus second, then third and fourth. So, this seems to be a profit everywhere, but that is a theoretical example. So, it not it is not would not make much sense. So, let me draw a, th a third graph. So, it is too it is not cluttered let me differentiate it. So, S t can be removed and what is important for us is basically the combined for uh, the case which is the green and the, and the brown one. So, for the time being let me remove uh, the partial combinations. So, the orange one can be removed then individual one. So, it is it, it, not uh, uh, much of a concern because you already discussed that. So, this is the combined one which is coming. So, the green one let me um, make it a little bit width wise better. So, in the green one is the one where we have the combine of the long call, short call and long call and the strike prices is k 1, k 2, k 3. In the brown one it is long call, short call, long call, short call with prices of k 1, k 2, k 3, k 4. Now, the, the prices which I have marked 120 or this whole uh, value set of values they are just hypothetical values you can change them and, and, and see that how they would uh, differ as you change both the strike price and as well as the prices. So, remember k and x I mean the words I am using interchangeably strike price or delivery price is basically the main notion which I am trying to talk about. Now, you have butterfly spread using the puts. So, in the uh, in, in initially if you remember they were all the calls. So, now you have the puts. 
so i will use again the same marking scheme first one for the k1 price it is red Second one with strike price of K2, which was in green. And third one was basically giving using the orange one, which is for a uh, price of K3. And the combined one, which is so, um, the main uh, fundamental concept here which is being brought out is that combining using put and call you can get the same characteristics of the butterfly spread where the investor thinks the prices will be fluctuating between two ranges and here the ranges are K1 and K3. So, here for the, the first case, let me use not the highlighter but the pen. So, it would be not too cluttered. So, this is positive, this portion is negative. For the second case, this is negative, this is positive. I am not talking about the quantum, just the notion that where is positive negative. The third case is again positive and this is negative. So, for positive being, being in the first quadrant and negative in the, the fourth quadrant. And if I have the, the strike price, so for all this 4, So, in this case it will be less than k1 this is k2 k2 and mark the greater than less than psi within 2 minutes this is k3 this is K3 and the signs would be like this. This is in between is basically ST. ST, 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 ST. ST. So, in the first case, how the signs are, I will use the red color because that is basically for the strike price of K2. So, this is positive after k2 it is negative negative and negative for the for the second one it is negative in between it can be anything for k2 and above it is positive it is positive and for the last one which is orange i'm using the color scheme in order to like make the message much more um, vigorously. So, in the orange one it is basically positive, there we will consider this is also positive, in this region we do not know and it is basically negative. So, when you have the combined one, the combined graph will be coming from here. Okay, now comes the problem to solve. So, these are the strike price ST on the leftmost column and uh, these are basically for the long put with the strike price of K1 and these are the payoff values. 
for the second case short put these are the p of values i'm just marking them if you want i can just highlight it for better understanding so so these are basically for the long put one these are for the short put one and these are for the long put one with strike price of k3 and the blue portion which i mark would be the combined one so let me highlight it hence the profit is given it is all the terms are written so if you can notice it it will make some sense and obviously we are doing in the excel sheet so it is much more explicit in the way we draw it so let us come back to the and we'll use the formula of max min in order to make us our life simple and make the understanding uh, much more clear so we will discard this color scheme and go back to the excel sheet we'll use a second sheet here so these were for the all the calls now we'll basically have the puts so we'll write in the same sequence so you had a long put short put long put so you have the long put with delivery price k1 short put delivery price k2 long put delivery price k3 so let us check uh, long put short put long put long put short put so we will mark it as k here p here and we will and we will keep a one gap in order to if we add a fourth um, put here so this is st and the prices are in quantums of let us make it 5 so it will be much more more micro values can be in the sense like 10 and versus 5 so let us go to till 150 and let and make and uh, make the values of k and p accordingly as multiples of, of 5 so so the prices we will make it k1 less than k2 less than k3 so it is 45 we'll increase it by 15 by 15 now for the long one we are buying so if you go back to this graph so for the puts uh, k1 and k2 we are buying so they would be negative so let us consider as minus 10 minus 5 minus 10 would be too large a value this can be put in my uh, plus 15 and this can be put as minus 25 so these values are p for long put k1 price of short put k2 price of long put k3 so we'll consider the matrix as this i'm just copying it at one go so it's easier for me this is the combined one this is short put long put so I should basically wrap it, wrap the text so it's easier for us to see. Yes, done. And uh, we will come. Okay, we can remove it here because we'll be putting a later on a uh, short put also, and we can combine it. So let us go to the formulas. So all the input data and everything is ready. So let us go to the long put 
uh, formula. So, we will erase it. So, this is for the problem for the put. This is for the put. So, for the so we have the long put. So, the initial scanning scheme was red. So, this is the formula. So, the red one and if you remember the strike price was k1. So, I am marking it for easy of ease of understanding. Max of x minus st is equal to max of x minus st plus the price which is minus 5 minus 5. So, this is the formula max of x minus x t minus p minus p because the sign is already there minus p. So, so b 2 gets frozen oh sorry frozen c 2 is frozen frozen means the values do not change I copy it accordingly. Another thing which I which I generally do. So, 45, 60 and uh, these values should be highlighted because they are the strike price 45, 60 and 75. Now, we come to short put. Short put is basically green. We are using the green one. Short put is this one with the strike price of K2. Minimum x s t minus x. So, s t minus x plus p p is the price max of that value and this. So, here b 3 is frozen because those values does not change. I copy these values. Now, let us come to long put again long put is this one we have used uh, the orange one yes long put. So, this is the price of k 3 max of x minus s t is equal to max of x minus s t plus 25 or minus 24 whatever it is. So, we need to freeze B 4, C 4 and this is done. Copy these values once done we come to the combined one. So, I am keeping a space here. So, we can be taken up So, let me remove this cell, so we can entertain later on. So, the combination graph is this one. So, this blue can be removed. So, the orange one actually should be red. The gray one is basically green. The, the K3 is not yellow, it is orange. And finally, this one combined one was blue, a different blue. So, you have the graphs. 
so depending on so it looks exactly like the the uh, call one but the values depending on which you can basically make it accordingly uh, i'll come to the different combinations um, later on um, i i went a little bit slow in order to make you understand that how the combinations can be done and hope you have understood it for any queries obviously you are most welcome to get in touch with me uh, over my email you can check my home page and for any queries uh, or if 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 you think things can be explained in much better way through through more examples i will be happy to do that i have a nice day and thank you very much